Well, we have finally just gotten a text message about my flight and it is this evening <laughs> at 10 p.m. It is like 7.30 a.m. right now. Beautiful, beautiful city out here. Same view from yesterday. Uh, looks like there's a little bit less snow, uh, probably because the sun is out as well, but it's definitely still cold because it's definitely still snow out there. Let's see what adventures we get into today. <sighs> Just called the front desk and checked out that I have a late checkout till 1 p.m. So that'll get me till through 1 p.m. at least. And uh, they do have a gym that is open and the breakfast is till 10, it's only 8. So I have enough time for a workout and then get breakfast. So let's do that. This is cool. They have an indoor pool here at the Hilton. I bet it's heated too. Ah, why is it closed? Ah well, off to the gym. Walking into the gym here, they have got a mighty fine gym going on. Let's get it! Once I finished my workout, I took some of my post-workout and I started thinking about what exactly I'm going to do with my day. I'm thinking about just exploring the city and seeing what Arlington has to offer. Since I'm a Diamond member at Hilton, they offered me free breakfast. I had this delicious omelet here with potatoes and a muffin as well. Yummy, yummy. Look at me stepping out in the snow here with these shorts. <laughs> shorts in the snow. Shorts in the snow. That's right, it is cold. I'm like one of those crazy white people who does shorts in the snow. <laughs> After I checked out of the hotel, I left my bags at the reception and that's where I met a friend who's also catching an evening flight today and also wanted to explore the city. Okay, we are out here roaming around and check out the price of gas. It's $4.19 and that is actually cheap, folks. My new friend Raymond and I set out to explore Arlington. This was a special day for Raymond because he was leaving his life in DC behind and moving to a new city to start a new life. I'm so honored to be a part of his last chapter in this city. First on the list, the doggy park. And even though we had no dogs with us, we figured why not? All around DC, they basically have these dedicated two-way bike lanes, which is so awesome. The bike shed did not end up working out, so we ended up taking an Uber down to the riverside. This carpet store has the finest of rugs, and when we walked in, it felt like something I would walk into in India. But we soon realized that these are really fancy rugs that are worth tens of thousands of dollars each. Oh, there's Raymond, by the way. These are not just rugs, though. These are masterpieces. Wow, check out this art here. Art is so amazing. Love is all you need. It really is, isn't it? DC has these cute things where they have these nice little roadside, well, on the footpaths, they set up these restaurants. However, as you can see, they're all snowed in. So no one is really eating out here today. They even got these, they got a little enclosing. Well, they got the lights on, but snowed in, baby. It's been a while since I had bubble tea, man. So Raymond is now looking for a place for bubble tea because we have decided to get some bubble tea and I like bubble tea. It's been a while since I had it. Thai tea is my favorite though. We got noodle box there and they even have bubble tea on the door. You can't see it because the tree is blocking it, but they got it. Let's oh, go. Oh, you've been here before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, they got all kinds yeah, of bubble tea. Oh, look at this, the biggest one up there. Let's do it. <laughs> oh yeah, bubble tea, baby. So I got the one with the milk, you got the one without the milk. Approved. Okay, we are going that way towards the riverfront and it is Sunday today, so You know, there's not too much traffic here and we have this little fair thing or whatever's going on there I, I think that's actually outdoor dining for that restaurant with the snow like we saw earlier on the other footpath All right, we made it to the waterfront. Let's go. That's the dock here All these yachts and We've got some sightseeing and this is where I would park my yacht if I had one. If you guys like this video and subscribe, maybe I'll get monetized and we can buy a yacht. There's Raymond getting some pictures. And the beautiful dock here. So gorgeous. Oh, there's a water taxi. Sightseeing. Torpedo factory. Is that an art? Art Center. Okay, you want to check it out? Welcome to the Torpedo Art Factory. It's a nice little area here where you can uh, draw and leave your mark. And as you can see, this is uh, Raymond leaving his mark. This is where the magic goes down. If you look at any artist's cave, it's always got a lot of story to it, a lot of magic to it. Look at every single paint drop 
brush of paint that's gone into it. This artist who was kind enough to let us take a video of her art is Mina Oka Hani. So simple, yet so beautiful. Here's another beautiful art store. They got a museum on the third floor. Let's check that out. Let's check it out. Preserving the museum. What is this? Evidence of past meals? What? Wow, I can see cool things. Very interesting. Learning from the ship remains. You can learn all this information just from the remains of a ship. Crazy what history can do for us. After the torpedo art factory, we came back out onto the riverfront. Ooh, water taxi. After just kind of walking around for a bit, we found ourselves feeling a little bit hungry and stepped into this little barbecue joint. All right, we have come here to Pitmaster's Barbecue. Beautiful restaurant. All right, so we have placed our order here and we got the two meat plate and we're gonna split that. Uh, we got the beef brisket and the pork belly and we got that with fries and mac and cheese. I got the peach old fashioned, cause why not? And Raymond got the moonshine lemonade. So let's see how that turns out and uh, yeah. Moonshine lemonade and the peach. Food. Interesting. Yeah. So we have switched mics guys, so you might notice a difference in the sound. Uh, we just got the, done with lunch and now we're heading to, where are we heading? I don't know. <laughs> okay, we don't know where we're heading yet. Uh, we'll figure it out. We decided to take these bird scooters across town back to our hotel. After all, it was only a 30 minute bike ride according to Google. So we were going down the beautiful trail and my, uh, my bike started beeping. And we figured that's because of the low battery because the speed starts slowing down everything. So we took over to street level and now we're looking to replace our bikes. And lo and behold, we just saw some bikes in the corner there. We're gonna go replace them. We've come here to the bikes and these are super pedestrian bikes. We have bird bikes. So we need to download this new app or we'll check on the bird app and see if we have any other bikes close by. Uh, we've we finally decided to settle on these capital bikes from earlier as well we downloaded the app and we have that um, because those link bikes were not going anywhere so we've got Raymond pulling up his capital bike over here and I'll be pulling out my bike over here as well and let's get back on the trail okay we made it back to the bike center got our bikes parked here that's the Hilton across the road where we are staying here I gotta go get my bags and then make it to IAD airport what a wonderful adventure. And here we will say thank you to my friend here for joining us for this wonderful video. Nice. It was my pleasure. Super <laughs> fun. I decided to take the hotel shuttle to DCA airport, even though my flight was across town from the IAD airport. I figured that there must be some way to commute between the two airports, and I had enough time to really figure it out. All right, I made it here to DCA airport, and um, that's only because the hotel shuttle would only bring me to here. I'm actually supposed to be flying from IAD airport tonight, so um, we're gonna go to the United counter as if I have no idea what's going on, and we're gonna ask them, is this the IAD airport? And ask them if they have some kind of a transfer to the IAD airport. Let's see how that goes. So a guy walked up to me, said, can I help you? I said, uh, I don't actually have a question. I have a statement. And my statement is that I am at the wrong airport. And he said, yeah, you probably are. You need to fly to the Dallas airport. Um, and essentially what he said was that there is no shuttle between the two airports. And what I need to do is I need to essentially take a Lyft or an Uber. Or he did say that I can take the train to Roslyn station and then take a bus from there. So we're gonna attempt to take the train to Roslyn station and a bus from there, because I got three hours still. So let's see how that works out. We are at DCA, so let's find our way to, uh, well, let's find our way to the train first. I took the blue line towards Largo, in the Uber and finally heading towards IAD airport. They have these really cool shuttles, which are basically like buses that can take people from one terminal to another. They are elevated buses though. And from the design, it feels like you're on a tram rather than a bus. Quite a cool thing. Well, friends, I have, of course, made it back and I am now in bed. If you want to see more of these kind of videos, um, hit that like button and subscribe down below as well. Let me know in the comments uh, if you want to see any more of these videos or if there's something else that you guys want to see. And uh, I'll make it happen. And uh, see you in the next one.